Next is the chart tab. The system has a robust set of charts and tables that analyze the data and make it more useful and usable. So the charts are grouped into five categories. There's overview, there's tender map, competitiveness, implementation, and efficiency. In the overview tab, you will get a sense of the largest tender in values and most frequently awarded suppliers. So the first chart um, captures the number of tenders released per year and how many awards per year. As you can see, the yellow line is the tenders per year and the blue line is the awards per year. Below this is a list of top 10 suppliers. These are the largest tenders in the county within the set time frame. Below that is a list of top 10 largest tenders. These are the largest tenders in the county within the set time frame. Um, below that is the top 10 largest awards. This list focuses on single largest awards. So you'll see there's the National Hospital Insurance Fund, for example, that got um, a tender worth 128 million. Finally, we have the expenditure to date buses budgets tab. At the moment, uh, we do not have data on this, but once we once this is populated, the user can track the budget and expenditure in a given fiscal year and for the respective departments as well. On the left, we have the filters. You can choose you can choose which department you will want to get um, information on. So that is health services. So it shows there were 22 tenders um, in 2019 and tw there were actually 22 awards in 2019 as well. And the suppliers, it provides a list of suppliers in that specific department, how, how many tenders they won and the value of the tenders. The same apply to the top 10 largest tenders. This list will be unique to the health um, department. To opt out of that filter, click reset. Procurement method. The options um, to select from are limited, open, selective, and direct. Selecting any of these options will generate charts and lists that are unique to this filter. And the procurement method rationale. At the moment, you can signify COVID-19 as the reason for choosing a specific procurement method. Once again, you can um, filter using fiscal year and um, amounts. So that is the overview tab under charts. Next is the tenders map. The tender map gives an overview of the projects in the respective wards and subcounties. It shows subcounties by default, as you will see is highlighted already. The number of each circle indicates the number of projects taking place in that sub-county. Clicking on the circle gives an overview of how many projects are present in that sub-county and the total funding in that sub-county. You can also click the number of projects per year and you'll see how many are in 2018 and how many are in 2019, for example. You can also click the amount budgeted per year to see the chart showing the funding that has been budgeted for this location by year. At the top left of the pop-up is a download icon. This downloads the chart in Excel format. Next to it is an image icon. 
which downloads the image of the specific um, chart displayed. The far right, uh, top right of the pop-up is the close button. So should you wish to proceed to a different sub-county, just close it and um, yeah, proceed to the next sub-county. Should you wish to view this tender map um, by words, you can easily click words and it will now display several circles as there are more words than there are subcounties. Clicking on each clicking on each word gives you a breakdown similar to what we had um, when looking at the subcounty. So this overview of how many projects are in that word, number of projects per year, amount budgeted per year. Competitiveness. Um, the competitiveness charts show information on how open and competitive Makwini procurements are. More competitive procurement processes are sought after as it generally means that more companies can participate in the process and it can increase value for money and increase innovation. Okay, so the first chart focuses on tender value versus award value for the respective years. Tender value in 2018 and tender value in 2019 are more than the award values in the respective years. The second chart is the procurement method. This shows a chart by procurement type that is open, direct, selective, and limited. Hovering on the different graphs um, shows how the value of um, tenders in each procurement method. It is also worth mentioning that uh, more tenders under the open uh, procurement method signifies that there's more competitiveness in the process. The average number of bidders attending one bid, this refers to the number of bids received in each tender. An increase in the number of bids signifies increase in competition. In 2018, for example, the average was 2.9 bidders attending one bid, and this has increased in 2019, where you'll see the average number is 3.39. The next um, list is frequent supplier building combinations. At the bottom of the table is um, a red tab that says show all. Clicking it provides a longer list of um, these suppliers. The next chart is average tenders by buyer. This is the average number of bids per tender in each department. Um, and the next chart is the share of procurements awarded to AGPO that is access to government uh, procurement opportunities. And the categories under this are women, youth, and persons with disabilities. Underneath is a chart uh, that is uh, number and percent of first time winners. This chart shows the number and percentage of first time winners in the respective um, years. Once again, um, an increase in the number of first-time winners shows that there is increased competitiveness. The last chart shows the number of suppliers that have received direct awards for similar items uh, by departments. Okay, and it's also important to note that in each chart, at the top of each chart, top right, is an image icon. Clicking it downloads the chart. Great. The next tab is um, implementation. 
So this tab gives the user an overview of the performance of projects. The data that is currently in use is sample data, which is strictly used for the purposes of this training and does not um, reflect actual performance of the respective suppliers. So the first uh, chart shows the number of contracts not completed on the expected date. As you can see in 2019, there's one delayed and there's one that was completed on schedule, for example. The second chart um, shows the number of contracts with PM, PMC recommendation to not pay. The third chart shows how many contracts were canceled for one reason or another in the respective years. In 2018, one contract, 2019, one contract, 2020, three contracts, for example. Again, as mentioned, the data that is currently used in implementation, in the implementation tab was primarily used for the purposes of training. Next is a list of uh, top 10 suppliers with inspection reports to not pay. These are contracts that have at least one inception report form with a no in authorized uh, to pay in the inspection report form. Underneath that is another list that, um, of top 10 suppliers who do not complete contracts on expected um, end date. And the criteria to meet the criteria for this list is um, the number of contracts with at least one m and report with the status as delayed. Finally, uh, the last list in this uh, tab is the top 10 suppliers with PMC recommendation to not pay. The criteria for this is um, contracts with at least one PMC report with no in authorized uh, to pay the PMC report form. So under charts, uh, the last tab is efficiency. And this, um, this section includes charts that analyze the efficiency of the procurement process. So the first chart, big timeline, illustrates the time it takes between a tender being publicized and the supplier being contracted. Hovering on the chart shows the number of days it takes between request for proposal date and uh, the tender close, closing date, and the time between which the evaluation begins and when the supplier is awarded. So in 2020, for example, um, what we have in blue is that's the tender date. So it takes six days between when the tender is publicized and when it's closed. And it takes 26 days between when the evaluation process begins and when the award is given. The next chart displays how much was tendered for each item. Covering in each section of the chart gives an overview of how much was spent in the fiscal year. The second last chart here is the number of invitations to bid by item. These are the number of invitations to bid by item for each item. Finally, at the bottom is the number of cancelled invitations to bid. In 2018, you'll see that there's one. 2019, there was two. 2020, for example, three. 